Hey y'all, I'm Jen, and apparently I haven't done the AuthorTube newbie tag, so I should probably do that, right? Question one, how did you find out about AuthorTube? I think it started mainly from watching so much booktube, and I just slowly kind of drifted over and found out there was this whole other world called AuthorTube, and I just fell right into it. Number two, what genres do you write in? My first book, On the Way to Simple, is a contemporary new adult with some romance elements to it. The one I'm currently working on is a contemporary fantasy that's YA. And I have a few other ideas and they're all pretty much YA centered or new adult centered. So I kind of just hang out in those categories and some of the genres tend to vary. Number three, what is your preferred tense, category of story, and POV? I lean more toward first person. As far as tense, I have some hangovers from my screenwriting days, so I tend to like present tense, but most of the time I do write past tense. As far as categories, I hang out in YA and New Adult. Number four, are you a plotter, pantser, or plantser? I think I would fall more into a plantser. I do like plotting some elements out, but I also like finding the story as I'm writing along. Number five, are you a self-published, published, or soon-to-be-published author? I am currently self-published, but with my next project, I'm looking at moving more into the traditional publishing realm, so I'll be more of a hybrid published author. Okay, this is a long one, so I'm just going to read it off. Number six, what publishing company, literary agent, or printing company are you represented by or use? If you are not yet published, what is your dream publishing house and or literary agent? I am still working on the traditional side where I would want to be published. It would be awesome to be published by Tor, just because I have so many authors that I'm fans, a fan of who publish through Tor. But as far as literary agents, I'm kind of playing that close to the chest to see kind of where I end up with that. Number seven, what kind of authorship videos can we expect from this channel? I tend to lean more toward the lifestyle of a writer rather than having specific like 101 or 201 uh, writing advice. There's a lot of really awesome YouTubers who have already done that, and I feel like I don't have a whole lot to add to what they've said so far. If I do have something, I would obviously throw that in there. But for me, it's going to be a lot of organization because I'm a super organizer. I love using my organizational skills to creatively come up with new ways to do things and to keep the life and writing balance kind of in check, <laughs> which we're always trying to do. But yeah, so a lot of organizing videos, a lot of lifestyle videos, probably some reading videos because I still love booktube as well. And if there's anything you want to see, let me know down in the comments and I can add that to my list. Number eight, when did you start writing? It's kind of a tricky question. I started technically writing when I was in my teens, but I was a little bit of a late bloomer. I actually didn't start writing more professionally or writing more in earnest. Uh, until 2007. So I have been writing for a good while now. It's 12 years now. So number nine, what is the first story you ever wrote? I wrote this screenplay when I was 15 that was absolutely horrible. It was like eight different stories all crammed into this one mega story. It was unreadable, but I learned a lot from writing that one and how, learning how to take things out and focus on one thing at a time. Number 10, which authors have inspired you the most? I have ones that are big scale like Lee Bardugo and Victoria Schwab. I've also got some that are closer, like more personal friends who just inspire me just by their tenacity and their amazing writing prowess that's you know already started so early in their career, like Jessica Calla and Brianna Morgan. Pretty much every author inspires me. If you're writing words, you inspire me. Number 11, do you schedule your writing time or do you just do it whenever you can? Right now it's kind of a doing it whenever I can. I want to get to a schedule because I think that that's going to make me more productive and be more prolific with my writing. But right now things have been kind of hectic and as we've moved house and I had some health issues and some mental health issues and all of that kind of made things a little chaotic. But it is my goal to get an actual schedule down. Number 12, do you use a computer? Do you handwrite? Do you typewrite? Do you, what do you use? And where do you write in general? I typically write on my computer when I'm drafting. When I'm brainstorming and outlining, I tend to go longhand with that. As far as where I write, that's kind of wherever I can. And that's kind of hanging off of the last point where I just do it whenever I can. 
so I tend to write wherever I am. Actually, since we've moved into our new house, I've set up my office space now to do my writing there, so I have a feeling it's gonna help a lot with keeping me focused. And lastly, number 13, what are you looking most forward to about being on AuthorTube? The community. I think this is probably the same answer for every author who has done this tag. The community is the big thing. I've already met some really awesome people and I'm looking so forward to getting to know everyone and to getting to know more people. And it's just an, such an encouraging environment and I'm really excited to learn with y'all and grow with y'all and just get going. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you liked it, please hit the like wherever, whichever side it's on. I can never get the thing straight. Hit that like button and subscribe. Whichever side is which, you know, you know what it is. You can see it. So I'll see you next time. Bye.